So Sam, what are you most nervous for? back to another video today me and my fiance Sam are going to be answering some juicy pre-wedding questions we have our hosts FDD and J Clay you guys want to come in the no we're good we're good we're matching with the Woo! spectacles show your spectacles dad <laughs> we match we have matching spectacles <laughs> and they're going to be asking us a bunch of different questions from you guys so if you want to see if your question was answered keep on watching Question number one came from, oh gosh, I'm probably gonna butcher names, but Claire Subay. Okay. Subet. Subat. <laughs> what are <laughs> yeah. Subay sounds. What are you most excited to do after you get married? This may be censored. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the Alki, I would say I'm excited to just do all of the married things. Buy a house, have kids, live daily life. Other than the obvious. Oh, obvious. Oh, 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 oh. All right, question comes in from Mina Kalala. Oh, hey, Mina, Mina, thanks for the question. I know, Mina. <laughs> How many kids do you guys want? We have different answers for this. Three. Four or five. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, two. Plus ten. We definitely would like to adopt. We've talked about that. But we want our last kid to be our adopted kid whenever we already raise. God willing, all of our other kids. Six, seven, nine. Like when we are when we are in my parents' shoes, like how they are right now, they're done, both their kids are out of the house. And We're like, not done, he's done. When I'm your guys' age, 44 and 45, I want to adopt. Oh, that's fantastic. Like a five-year-old, yeah. not a baby, like a five-year-old. Gosh, it's from Jennifer Lopez. J Lo, what's up? Woo! Yeah, J Lo asked me questions. Okay, J Lo wants to know, what advice would you give couples thinking about getting engaged? Don't do it. Don't do it. No. So I say for this question, Sam, what advice would you give to men? And then Carissa, what okay, advice would you give to women? That's it first. Um, obviously make sure it's okay with the parents first. Good job. Oh. I think Which I tell thought them. was a normal thing, but some people no, that yeah. I know didn't make that a problem. Really? Right, so. I had no idea I was getting proposed to, but if I would have known Sam was thinking about it, I would have told him, you better ask my parents. That's the first thing I said. Did you ask my dad? <laughs> we never yeah. talked about it, so I was like, you better have asked my dad. But, um, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, a lot of people don't talk about it before you. I know, well, no, a lot of people actually do. A lot really? of people know they're getting engaged. I had no idea. My advice to girls would be make sure that you're okay with everything he's doing now because you can't change them. <laughs> All right, this question comes in from Karen Marie. Sam, it's to you. How did you feel after you found out that she was saving herself for marriage? Tell the true story. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I was pissed. I, was like, <laughs> I had a small feeling that something was too good to be true, and I was like, but I was like, I can't. Don't think about it. Don't put it out there. So who told you? And then my sister was watching one of her videos and told me, and I just threw it all. I was like, <laughs> so Carissa said that you used to creep before you'd even met on Bumble and you creeped on her no, YouTube, watched it all, knew she wasn't having and knew that you knew. Is this true? No, no he wanted. knew, but he never asked me. He waited for me to tell him. So I didn't know. And then like the second time I talked to my sister about her, she told me, she's like, you know she's staying here. And, I was like, <laughs> and that's what I threw my phone. And then we went to San Francisco <laughs> and that's and what he I- And you tried. I was like, I don't know if she's like legit or- <laughs> Yeah, she found out, huh? Well, at least we hope she was legit. And then we just sat in bed for like 30 minutes silent, and I was like, he goes, All right. I already know. <laughs> I was like, are you mad? He's like, no. I was like, yes, you are. And then he ended up fine. Like, he definitely had a little pounding moment. He definitely tried to push it. Like, he wasn't, you're, yes, you're so no. respectful, yeah. but you definitely, like you said, you were gonna take it if it was offered. You are gonna. All right, next question, wishes. please. Next question. I just want to add to that, at least from what you've told me, is that even down the road, like times when you'd really be challenged to continue, he was respectful and he. It got to a point where he wouldn't have even allowed you to. No, yeah, we just had this boundary yeah. as like a non-negotiable, and he just he sticks to it better than me. Like I'm like Sam, my boobs. So I'm like stop, Chris, <laughs> <Chris>, stop. <laughs> Dad always says that. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. 
Victoria Boyd says, are you going to write your own vows? Yes. Oh, that is nice. We want to get a cute little book to write them in. What do you mean? Don't you always write your own vows? No, some people no. just do like the traditional like shirt and Bible. Or if they're not religious, they just do like a traditional already. Like you, where you repeat what the official says. I want to do both. We didn't write our own vows. I wish we did, but we didn't. I do. I want to put them in a book. I'll have them forever. And I want to have a microphone at the wedding so the whole so party. Way too much. No, I want everyone That's to hear. That's more private. I think it's a booker. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question coming in from Lessie Lou. Lessie Lou. Lessie Lou, thank you so much for the question. <laughs> did she just flick her phone? She did. Under the couch. Lessie, sorry for the disrespect on oh, your question. Oh, we're coming the Tesla. Excuse me, guys. I don't guys. let Sam roll his blueberries in Tesla anymore. Make him roll blue enough. Excuse me, guys. Huh. Lessie Lou is asking a question. Oh. <laughs> what part of your wedding are you most excited for? You know what? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Every part, like there's a like little- 10 p.m. Like, I'm excited to walk down the aisle. I'm excited to see everybody. I'm excited to do to eat cake and food. Yes. I'm excited for every, like I want to truthfully, like obviously I want the night to be over and you know, but I am trying to cherish every single moment because it only happens once. I'm really excited to see you down in the aisle. Aww. Do I sound booger? Yes, it works. <laughs> It's like a hair, a booger on Okay, your hair. pause. Someone send me a. I don't see. I don't do anything. You ain't got no booger. Shut, shut up. Like, no, you have go like Snot a... rocket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at It's in his it. book. It's right here on your forehead. You <laughs> lied. <laughs> 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 no. No, we're wait, joking. Wait, wait, here's the like, something go somewhere. We had our engagement shoot, shoot yesterday and I snorted all over his face because they were making us touch foreheads. And they laughed. I can't wait to see this. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm not kidding, serious snot just came on my nose. Is it on my face? Oh, that's nice. Lessie Lou also asked, how did you know your dress was the one? That was a hard one to choose. I was down to, what, three? And I had to try all three on again. And I just, I just had a feeling like I, it was when you did the veil with the dress. But then you didn't want to try the other dresses on with the veil. And the veil. Yeah. That's what set it apart. And also, it's just very non-traditional. It's just like a little sexy, really beautiful. Shogger. <laughs> can't wait. This question comes in from Jack Jack X3. Will you guys cry the day of your wedding? Like going down the aisle. I'm not gonna cry. I'm going to laugh the entire day. Because we figured that out yesterday when I did my engagement pictures. When I'm nervous, nervous at all, nervous. I but I hope I'm just nervous giggling. I hope I'm not howling. <laughs> like I feel like I'm gonna walk like down the aisle like this, this. <laughs> and that's gonna ruin everything, <laughs> like she did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm nervous, I just like laugh. How? You said it right there. So I don't think I'll cry at all because I didn't cry when we got engaged. I just get in shock and I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll cry after the second. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? Why Moving on. No, are you going to cry when I cry? I said, you just asked me. I said, He's yeah. gonna be eight. I don't know. Maybe. I'm most worried for my grandma, my mom, Not Sam's me. mom. I've done Sam. very well. You watch. You watch. FTD will be in FTD. Yeah. Okay. You watch. Not, not one will shed. I mean, that? a happy tear that she's gone. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna do it. Lies. Lies. FTD so solid. Yeah. He is. Moving on. Next yeah, question. Exactly. Okay. D Craig ninety three says hmm. potential honeymoon spots. So Sam's getting the mountain wedding, so I'm getting the tropical. Oh, oh, it's how it goes. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be tropical. We have a few options. He what? can pick his top three, and you pick your top three. I think our top three are the same. Really? Yeah. Sure. Cabo, Tulum. Top like ever? Oh, uh, top I ever know. like Bora Bora, Bali, Turkey. No, like realistic, realistic Tulum, Cabo, Saint Lucia is really pretty. We want to say it was a water bungalow, but they're like 15 grand for three nights. That's insane. All right, this question comes in from Sammy Lee 21. Hey, Sammy, thanks for the question today. <laughs> Cake smash, or will you be nice to each other? I'll let you in first because I have surprise. a kind of story. What? Surprise. Ooh, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. You don't know. Well, I found something on Pinterest that I love the idea of. You set up two jars and it says bride and it says group. And then your guests 
put like just dollar bills in it and whoever has the most money in their jar has to get the cake smashed in their face. The other one gets away scotch free. But we keep all money for our honeymoon fund. Oh, wow. I like that. I think I've seen something like that before. I like that. And I have a feeling they're gonna choose me because they want to see my hair and makeup ruined, so. Yeah. Whatever. I'll keep it really good. Don't worry, Krista. Hey, what if I put a hundred dollar bill in Sam's? You should. I don't Actually, think you can tell by bills. It's just how high of the... Of money. No, 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 we count money. Oh. Oh, Jack Jack X3. After marriage, how long are you guys waiting until having babies? God willing, we'll be pregnant Nine months. one night. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, we are going to try probably like six times in one night. Oh my God. <laughs> Moving on. We might get pregnant. Hey, Rachel, thanks yeah, for the yeah, question, by the way. All right, this question comes in from L. Rival. Hey, L. Rival, thank you so much Lauren. for- Lauren. Hi, Lauren. It is Lauren. Lauren, thank you so much for the question. Are you doing a traditional first look or having a photographer capture it before? Is that where you go down the aisle? Yes, the first time Sam will see me is me walking down the aisle. I personally just think that that would be my best way to do it. Yeah. Consistent. People, I, so I was talking to people that have done the other way and they said they just wanted more of an intimate experience between just them two because walking down the aisle, it's everybody sees me, including Sam at the first time, but I just feel like I love the traditional. I just want everyone to see your first reaction too. I was just gonna say, I think that's what makes it nice. Yeah. A lot of people turn around and get like a quick glimpse of you. But oh, this leave. last wedding we were at, I saw the bride for the first second she walked in the aisle, and I'm like, Bro, yeah. what is he yeah. thinking right now? So I think it's nice to so see. So all eyes are gonna be on you. Yeah, why should only you get to see that? Right? Samantha Foster Barton. Since you're not doing a destination wedding anymore, what is your theme? Mountains, forests, <laughs> trees. No forest. I would just say it's Arizonian, like yeah. cacti, neutral colors, mountains, water streams. Where they first met. <laughs> All right, here we go. This question comes in from Emily Kalin XO. Dot XO, if, if that needs to be said. What are your What are you most nervous for? So this should be a two-part question, you and you. Yeah. So Sam, what are you most nervous for? Too soon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like how he looks so stuck. Edit. 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 We don't talk like that in yes, front of our we family. Do. We're a good, wholesome I'm Christian most family. I'm nervous for, I think, walking down the aisle. I'm gonna be so nervous. I was, oh, I was sick. I'm gonna be, this, I'm gonna be like, was like how I was in Isogenics. I was so sick TV. standing up there in front of everybody. I'm shaking. My dad. Oh. And when she come, oh, it just made, it amplified it by a thousand. It made My it better. Dad, or what, it made it oh. My dad was so uh. gentle and calm. He's like talking to me softly, quietly. He was? Before, like, whenever we first come out. He, <laughs> I didn't oh, God. Do any of that. that makes me emotional when I'm thinking about because he, he called my nerves so really? much. I wish your father could do that for you, but he won't because he's going to be about He's going to be making fun of Sam the whole time. Look at Sam. Yeah, Better have a bolt spec talk song sometime. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Well, did they both answer? Did you oh, no, she said that. And this question comes in from Whitney Decker. She wants to know are you having a big or small wedding? Small. Smaller. Yeah, I'd say smaller. Just because we are in Arizona, we have family from two completely different places. And we're doing it pretty quick, so it just. We want our closest family intimates. This one is from Shane Hinton. When did you both know each other was the one? When he accepted me for my virginism. <laughs> well, not virgin, but absentism. That's what you do. I said the man that accepts that is a good man. I wouldn't say you were gonna be my husband then, but I knew you were definitely gonna, I was gonna give you a chance. Oh. Husband, I knew when, no, honestly, I knew all the things was go. That's when I actually like liked you. Yeah, I would say mine started then, and then it gradually just got more and more. What's your favorite thing about me? <laughs> that wasn't one of the yeah, questions. Cool. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, this question comes in from Alexis D. Frazier. Would you invite any of your supporters to your wedding? I wouldn't physically invite them, but I will be having you guys be a part of the experience. Virtually. Virtually. What you three, you know, do that. 
Lizzie 1175 says, what traditions are you doing not doing at your wedding? For example, garter toss, unity candle, etc. I don't think we decided on what unity celebration to do. Tossing, we're doing all that. We're doing the leg thing where you go into the gown, get it now. I think we're gonna do all of the traditions we can, but there's also some like things that I saw, like the shoe game, that's not really traditional, but that's fun. All right, this question comes in from Devin Nelson. 77. Oh, sorry, yes, very sorry. Devin Nelson, 77. Do you have your first dance, father-daughter dance songs picked out yet? Sam picked out my father-daughter dance. Father daughter <laughs> Father daughter dance. This has to be your father daughter dance. <laughs> my little girl likes my girl. But I like. Oh, yeah, I don't really like. That. That. Choose that. Nah. Choose that. Choose that. I don't want that one as a father daughter dance though. Cause that's oh, not yeah. like slow and sad. Cause we're not like. You don't want to. You don't want to. Yeah, yeah. How are you gonna kid? How are you gonna dance to that? Like this. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> He's gonna be a freaking mess. So everybody, right? No, me and Dad, are, we're not dancing like this. <laughs> we're just not. We're just like. Just gonna be like. Yeah. I don't think so, sis. I don't dance like that. Yeah. Daddy, like this. Yeah. Like this. Oh no. Them days is over. This shit is it's over. It's the last day. Come oh. on. Oh no. I'll be, oh, I'll be so happy. Yeah, boy. This is the Hey, Throw some up. All right, edit. Throw some edit, up. Edit. edit. Let's go. Move on. Okay, so this is what I was trying to do. I've already given her away. I was if trying to explain this to his sister because his sister was like, Are you excited to like walk in the house with your dad and stuff? And I was like, me and my dad love each other so much. We are we are very close, but we don't even hug. <laughs> We're just not intimate whatsoever. Uh, wait, yes, we have our first dance song picked out. Secret. We have a lot of dance or songs picked out. We just don't know what dances they're gonna go for. Okay, Samantha Foster Barton asks, is Pickle going to be a part of the wedding? Pickle! Here's a question for you. Are you gonna be part of the wedding? No. Absolutely, I'm the ring bearer, got my suit from ah. Amazon. Fitting happening in a couple days when mom gets paid. <laughs> yes, Pickle will be in the wedding. He is our ring bearer. Don't make fun of us. He is our pride and joy. Here comes a question in from uh, Lessie Lou. Love will you be doing your own hair and makeup? No. Oh, wow. Sorry, Lessie, that's just that quick. No, <laughs> no. Well, the girls get like a spa day. I think it but we have to get that. <laughs> I don't want that stress on me. I did my own. I have you did? Hey, this, this question comes in from Ray Gibley. Maybe it's Gilby. It is Gilby, because the L is before the B. Okay, edit. <laughs> All right, this question comes in from Ray Gilby. Will you guys start trying for a baby by honeymoon or wait a while? We already answered this one, but... The first, no, not even honeymoon. <laughs> Night up. <laughs> NPM. We get a free um, complimentary stay at the resort we're having our honeymoon. It's absolutely not free, believe me. <laughs> or not honeymoon, reception at. So we'll be. Uh, the wedding is over at 10 p.m. So at 10.01 at Mountain Theater. 9.59. <laughs> no, 9.57 because we've got to get up the elevator. Ah! All right, moving on. Zali Baba said, are you guys going to have worship at your wedding? Worship. But I'm walking down the aisle to Solalai. Oh, and I'm sure there'll be some uh, Hillsong worship laid in, in the dancing. That's Maybe good Hillsong songs. Slow song. Yeah, Hillsong. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. For yeah. sure. Okay. We're having Hillsong as our entertainment. Oh. That'll be amazing. That's it. That's it. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Before you guys leave today, make sure you please throw this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach my goal of 100K, so if you subscribe, you'll make my day. And what's today's comment of the day? Question of the day. Friends, family? Will you be watching the wedding virtually live? Today's question of the day is going to be, will you be watching the wedding virtually? All right. That's it. Thanks Very for watching. Good. Thanks for having me. Bye. Oh.